Welcome back everyone. One of the most important things that I always look at when looking at, you know, Androids and iPhones is, well, if you're coming from an iPhone, which Android may be the best phone for you? So let's go ahead and look at them. I came up with three to four different devices. They're all a little bit different, but in my experience, when I came from an iPhone to an Android and vice versa, these are some of the strongest contenders where there's a lot of similarity and you can gain all the features with Android while maintaining some features of iOS. Now the first one being, and this is probably a given, but the Google Pixel 5. Now the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 5, they are about to come out. So you can kind of, you know, supplement those with this one. But any of the latest Pixel series of devices are some of the best phones you can buy, in my opinion, especially if you're an iPhone user. You're really maintaining all those awesome features of an iPhone with iOS. Things like, you know, the day one updates, very stock approach to software, not a lot of bloatware, and just overall a very smooth, seamless experience. And the day one updates thing is the main thing with Androids that you may be forgetting about. You may go ahead and pick up something like, a you know, the latest Galaxy or something but the updates are not going to be as prevalent as something like a, a pixel you know and especially with how google's going now they're probably going to expand the longevity of the pixel series as well so without a doubt the pixel 5 the 5a or the pixel 6 whenever that comes out those are some of the best phones you can buy in my opinion and those are solid solid devices without a doubt now the next up, we actually have the OnePlus 8T. Now I was going to say the latest of the OnePlus series, but recently they've been switching away from their normal software update cycle. And you know, it looks like they're going to be changing their stock, you know, Oxygen OS to Color OS or whatever it's going to be, which is going to be annoying in and of itself. So I guess we'll see how that goes. But the OnePlus 8T was one of OnePlus's last, you know, hurrahs in my opinion. It was a solid phone and brought a lot to the table. And I'm a huge fan of the OnePlus 8T without a doubt. Now, if you have to, I would say get the OnePlus 9, get the OnePlus 10 whenever those phones come out. But like I mentioned, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than the OnePlus 8T. And you can still custom ROM this phone too. And there's a lot going for it without a doubt. So if you want to get a phone, and you have you know the oneplus at in hand you can also buy it brand new you can buy it used and it's been out for almost a year so this is definitely another one of those phones i would probably recommend you to buy as well now finally i have two different devices that actually may end up you know being the best thing for you i don't know these are some of the best devices you can pick up period at any point of your life but like i mentioned you know they may not be the best choice for you depending if you're coming from an iphone and those are the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra and the samsung galaxy s21 ultra now here's the thing with a phone like this you know with both of these you're gaining pretty much all the features of a phone you could ever want you know these are going to be crazy cool powerful phones they have the latest chipsets they're going to be extremely powerful they're going to get you from point a to point b and they're going to be solid devices for sure but the thing is and the thing you have to kind of keep in mind is that the software situation really isn't that great with this type of phone and what i mean by that is you know things like the day one updates you're really not getting on this device things like you know the longevity of support samsung's actually changed that up which is kind of helping up but not for all samsung phones and that those are some pretty big things to keep in mind but you're still gaining all those crazy features with android and it's a very good device for sure both of these so those are the last couple devices i would recommend picking up and that pretty much covers it up for the most part if you want to pick up either one of these the links will be down in the description you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section as well. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.